So to get 1D, all we really need to do is look at this diagram. Remembering, of course, that we've also got um, uh, 2C on this diagram, but 2C is not a real length. We're going to need to work it out over here at 2C because it is not horizontal or vertical and it's not perpendicular to the viewer, okay, in the top view. So with your 1D, all you need to do is, is actually get the distance from here, okay? So we go down here and we measure this distance here and we know it's about four and a half. What you can do, if you don't want to measure it, if you want to be a little bit cleverer about it, you can actually get your compass and um, set it down and you've got a nice way of, if you actually set your compass up right, I was sharpening the pencil. Um, okay, you can get your distance like that. Okay, so you just set it up. Um, so we want to get a nice a vertical um, line. So we're just going to do that. And you could just set your set square down if you wanted to um, make life easier for yourself and just work out that distance. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to try and do a construction line or that sort of stuff. So basically, you know, 1D um, is um, 4.7. So I'm going to set this, set this down here and I'm going to do my first line as 4.7. Okay, and we've got our first line down of our um, of our construction. Okay, so we know that that is one D. So that that's that line there. Okay, so notice that um, the whole this whole process, your horizontal lines in this top diagram are going to be verticals. Okay, and vice versa. So verticals will be horizontal, horizontals will be vert vertical. So that's the first mind twist that you have to do in this whole process. We know the bottom is going to be a one. And the top is going to be a D. So far, so good. So we've gone from one, um, uh, we've drawn in one D. Okay, so now what we need to do um, is we need to get um, the length D to C across the top. Now that's a vertical, so it's going to be horizontal. So um, we know DC is also going to be a real length. So we know it because it's it's a vertical in this view. Okay, it's it's not it's not at an angle. So DC is because it's uh, a real length. You can actually grab your compass and put it on the on the drawing from D to C. And then what you're going to do is you're going to swing your compass from D at the top here, um, and you're going to make a construction line, an arc. Okay. Now, when you want to draw a line to that arc, you really need to be able to um, have two arcs crossing to create a point. Okay, so I've done my, my swing from um, for DC, which is a real length. Um, and then you've got to swing um, the length 1C from 1. Okay, so 1C, let's have a look at 1C, which is this triangulation here. Okay, so... 1C is not a real length, okay? It's one of those triangulations. So I'm going to grab this here and I'm going to find that distance 1C. Then I'm going to take it down onto this bit here because it's not a real length. And I'm going to go like that. And I'm going to write under here 1C, okay? And then what I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to draw a line from the top here down to here. And that's our 1C length. That's the true length now of 1C. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my compass, set it up here on 1C, and I'm going to go from 1 and I'm going to swing. Okay? And I get a point where they cross, where those two arcs cross. Now if I draw a line from D to this line here, That's DC now, so that's the point C. Now, did I get that correct, you might be asking. Well, if I measure on this diagram here, it should be about, um, it says here about three and a half, and if I come up here, 
to this diagram here, it's about, lo and behold, three and a half. So yes, I've done it correctly and the angle is correct as well. So we've got our first bit of our construction done and we're very happy about that. Um, and like I said, this took me a little while to work out and I'm still not an expert at it by any um, you know, swing of the imagination. Um, now what you can do is you're gonna, um, you're gonna need to put in the next line. Um, so we've done DC. Um, we might wanna do one, two now, okay? It's a vertical, okay? So it's gonna be horizontal over here. And we know it's a real distance because it's vertical. So we can just set it up on here, one, two, okay? And we're gonna swing that from here, like that. And once we've done that, what we need to do then is um, we need to swing uh, our um, 2C, okay, um, to get that crossing. So to get that um, crossing, what we need to do is we need to get the distance 2C, which we know um, is not a real distance, okay, because once again, it's not horizontal or vertical. So I'm going to put this here and go like this. Come over here, draw a line, and go to C. Now, you can be a real smart ass about this. If you can tell that this is symmetrical and you pretty much can tell that, you know, if that's the 2C when you draw it in, it's also going to be another measurement on this diagram. So we'll get this we'll get this line in first. If that's a 2C, we know it's also a 4B. Okay, so it it it's um it's two distances is that one and that one as well. Okay, so we might need that later on, which is why I'm putting it in there. So that's our um uh, sorry, uh, not our no, that's 2C, it'll be B3, sorry. I'm telling, I'm telling a lie. Um, telling you a lie. Porky pies. That will be B3, this one, this line here, okay? Okay, so 2C, and then what we can do is, well, we've just mentioned C, haven't we? So we're gonna put our compass on here to get that triangulation, and we're gonna say, well, we're gonna swing it across here like that, okay? And now we've got another point, okay? So we're hoping um, that this will get us, because it's a horizontal, it'll be a vertical, to the one, two, okay? Now, if you measure one, two on the diagram here, you'll note it's, um, let's measure it in mils just to be really precise. It's about one, just, just over 1.5. And if you look at my diagram here, if I go, if I draw the line here, yes, lo and behold, 1.5, okay? So, now we've gone from one to two. Okay, so, now we can draw in the lines between two and C. 